today. God, we magnify you. Hallelujah. God, we glorify you. And we just lift your name up right now, God. Hallelujah, God. You are great and greatly to be praised, God. God, we just magnify you right now. We exalt you right now. Hallelujah. We bless your name right now, God. God, you are worthy of all the praise. You are worthy of all the honor. You are worthy of all the glory, God. And we just, we lift your name up, God. We lift you up. We lift you up. We lift you up. God, you are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy. You are worthy, Lord. You are worthy. Oh, God, we just want to take time out, Lord God, to cast all our cares upon you. Let go of everything and everything and everyone and all the stuff that happened this week. We want to let it go right now, God, and we want to set our heart and our mind upon you. And we're asking you, God, to come in right now, God. We're asking you, God. You are God. We want your presence. We want your spirit in our heart, in our mind, in every place, in everywhere, everywhere that we are. We want you right now, God. Lord, in the name of Jesus, we, we're welcoming your presence right now, Lord. We're welcoming your spirit right now, God. And we just bless your name right now, Jesus. We bless your name, God. We lift you up. We exalt you. We glorify you, Lord God. We exalt your name today. We bless your name, God. We bless you. We bless you, Lord. God, we bless your name. Lord, we just thank you. We thank you. We thank you. God, we thank you. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for your presence. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for everything that you've done and everything that you're going to do, God. We thank you for you today, God. We thank you, Jesus. We thank you, Lord. God, we thank you. We thank you. In the name of Jesus, Lord, we thank you, Lord. We thank you, God, for getting us through another week. We thank you, God, for getting us through a work week, a school week. Oh, even if we were at home, God, we thank you, God, that we were able to take care of the home and do what we need to do to take care of the house, our husbands or our children. God, we just thank you. We thank you for being our provider this week, God, being there for us, Lord, in the name of Jesus. God, we thank you for watching over our children and our grandchildren our mothers, our fathers, our sisters, our brothers, our uncles, our aunts, our nieces, our nephews, God, our extended families. We thank you, Lord. Even those that don't want to talk to us, even those that shun us, Lord, even those that have come against us, Lord. God, we thank you for blessing them with life, breath, and strength in their bodies. God, we thank you for blessing them, especially our enemies, especially those that have come up against us, Lord. Because we don't know what's going on in their life. We don't know what's going on in their heart, their mind. We don't know what they have encountered that has caused them to react and do what they do. So God, we thank you especially for them, especially for them that may be broken on the inside, and especially for them, God, that don't even know how to say thank you, or especially for them, God, that know how to say thank you and just won't. Oh God, we just say thank you right now, God. We say thank you for those that can't say thank you right now. We just want to say thank you, Lord. Thank you and that we appreciate you. We appreciate you. Hallelujah. We appreciate you, Jesus. God, you are so worthy. We just appreciate you. God, we appreciate you. You've been so good to us. Oh, God, and we just want to tell you how much we love you. And God, we want to tell you how much we appreciate that. God, if we didn't say it any other time, God, we just thank you. We thank you. 
and appreciate you. We love you, God. We praise you today, God. We exalt you today, God. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. You've been good to us, Lord. And we want to make sure we let you know, God, how much, Lord, we appreciate you. God, you mean the world to us. You mean so much to us. Even the backslider knows how great you are. Even those that have turned and walked away, God, in their heart, in the deepest part of their heart and their soul, Lord. They know it is you that keep them alive. They know it is you that give them that job. They know it is you that pays those bills. They know that it's you that give them the food that we need. So God, we lay down that pride right now. We lay down every form of pride there is. And we acknowledge you, Lord. We acknowledge you for who you are. We acknowledge you, God, for how great you are. We acknowledge you for the blessings and the love that you give us. We acknowledge you, Lord. We acknowledge you, Lord. We thank you for your mercy and your grace. We thank you for the peace in the mind, God, and the peace all around us, God. We thank you. We thank you, Lord. And we just lay it all down at your feet right now. Every care, every concern, everything, God, that may have us all cluttered and messed up and torn up. Lord God, every hurt, every grudge, every, all the anger, Lord, we just lay it down. Lord, every disappointment, we lay it down at your feet, God. And we let you know, God, that we just love you and we praise you and we glorify you. We magnify you. Hallelujah. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We bless your name, God. We bless you today. Oh, God, we thank you. We thank you for the little things. Oh, Lord, we praise you, Jesus. We praise you. We praise you. Hallelujah. 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 Thank you, Lord. Hallelujah. We praise you, God. God, we praise you. And we magnify you. We glorify you. We lift you up above our problems. We lift you up above our concerns. Oh, God, you, everything that we have on our heart that may be troubling us, we lift you up over those things right now, God. And we bless you, Lord. And we thank you, Lord. We thank you for hearing our cry. We thank you for hearing our voice. We thank you for considering our prayers, God. We thank you for seeing about us, Lord. We thank you for everything that you do, God. We thank you for it, Lord. In the name of Jesus, God, our hearts are open to you. God, we want you to come in and show us what's in our hearts. We want you to help us. We want you to guide us. We want you to lead us, Lord. And we ask God that you come in even more. And go deep, Lord. Go deep, Lord. Go deep into our hearts, God. Oh, God, we want to be holy as you are holy. We want to walk in your righteousness. God, we want to, Lord. So we're asking for your help today. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus, God, we're asking you, Lord, to lead this prayer. We're asking your spirit to lead this prayer. We're asking you to guide us, Lord. Lord, we decrease, God, that you may increase. In the name of Jesus, thank you, Lord. God, we bless you right now. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We bless you right now, God. We bless you right now, God. We bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. Man, God, there's so much, Lord. God, there's so much in our hearts that we don't even want to talk about. There's so much, Lord. Jesus, God, we're asking you in the name of Jesus that you forgive us of all our sins and all our wrongdoings, God. Oh, God, the sin of unbelief, the sin of pride, we confess it right now. God, we ask that you forgive us for any jealousy, envy, and covetousness, any hate, any lying, any stealing, God. Lord God, any murders, any murmuring, any complaining, God. Lord God, that that stubborn spirit, that haunted spirit, that know-it-all spirit, God. 
these things that's in our heart, Lord God, that's not of you. God, in the name of Jesus, we're asking that you forgive us for having a grudge, holding a grudge against our brother or sister, God, having unforgiveness in our heart, Lord. Oh, God, we ask that you forgive us for conjuring up things, God, and causing these vain imagination and our notions to run wild, God, and not having self-control. God, we're asking that you forgive us, Lord. Forgive us and walk in self-righteousness, Lord, and not walking in the Spirit. We ask that you forgive us, Lord. We ask that you forgive us for any unbelief that's in our heart. And Lord God, we ask that you help us with that unbelief, God, as we step out in faith, Lord. As we step out, Lord God, trusting and believing in you, walking in hope, Lord God, that, that passes, that bypasses that faith, that run past that faith, and that hope, God, because your word says, God, that you never leave us nor forsake us. We are not alone, God, in every concern, God, in everything, God, that is in our heart, God. You said, Lord God, that you are our provider. You are our shepherd. We shall not want, oh God, and even if you don't take care of it right away, even if it's not solved right away, that doesn't mean you didn't hear us. It doesn't mean that you don't care. You care. You care. You care more than we can understand. You care about the hairs that fall out of our heads. You care. So we just trust you and believe, God, that you know what's best for us and that you have a plan and that you're building us and shaping us into what you want us to be. And we don't have to worry. We don't have to worry. There's no need to worry. You said take no thought for tomorrow. You said take no thought about what you shall eat, what you shall wear. Lord God, where are we going to lay our hands? How are we going to do this? God, how are we going to pay this? How are we going to confess this? How are we going to handle this? And Lord God, our kids, Lord, they're just out of control. We can cast all that on you. Huh? You hear every prayer. Oh God, we you hear every prayer. You gave us the solutions. You gave us the solutions. God, help us to use the tools that you've given us, where it's praise, whether it's prayer, whether it's just simply speaking the word over the situation, speaking there is no lack in our house, speaking that there no evil shall befall us, nor no it plague come nigh our dwelling, speaking that our children, Lord God, line up with your word. Jesus, oh God. We're going to speak the word. We're going to stand on your word. We're not going to be flaky. We're not going to be wishy-washy. There is no double-mindedness in your kingdom. But we're going to stand on your word, Father God, because your word is true. And everything else is a lie. Even the stuff that comes out of us, even the stuff that comes up out of our hearts and defile us is still a lie, God. And we have the courage right now. We have the courage to say it's a lie. And your word is true. God, give us the courage to seek out your kingdom, seek out your righteousness, Lord, to search the scriptures and find the truth. Even if we don't know and we have some recollection or, Lord God, we have an idea, God, give us the courage to seek out the answers, to get before your throne, to get in your word and find the answers. The word is right there. The truth is right there. God, help us not to lean in our, to our own understanding as we reach for that word, as we search for that word. Bring us the revelation and the truth behind it, Lord. Not just the surface as we seek out the answers, as we seek after your truth. Oh, God, give us the courage to stand no matter what. God, raise up a standard against the enemies as he come in like a flood. Because he's still a liar. He comes in as light. But he is a liar. So God give us the courage. To cast down those vain imaginations. Give us the courage to stand. And if when we've done everything else. Just stand in the name of Jesus. Oh God. In the name of Jesus. Oh my goodness Lord. I thank you today for your word. I thank you, Lord, for your word. I thank you for your word. Jesus, God, your word, hallelujah. Faith comes by hearing and hearing by your word. And when we hear your word, God, we trust. We can build trust just by hearing the word of truth and believing that truth and trusting and believing.
and we can build our faith and trust in God just by putting our word into you, God. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. Help us to lay down everything, to leave everything, and everything that was behind us, just leave it in the past. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, help us to walk in the truth. Help us to walk in that divine purpose that you have for our lives. God, help us to walk in the healing and the power, God, and no longer deny that power, that power, that power. Oh God, you can do exceedingly abundantly above all that we ask or think. And it's to those that believe, it's to us word, it's to us who believe that you can do even greater works. God, help us to walk in that greater works. Not leaning on our own power, not putting our trust and faith in, in the job, not putting our trust and faith in people, not putting our trust and faith in the SSI check, but in you. Not putting our trust and faith in that boyfriend or that husband or that wife. Not putting our trust and faith on parents. Because even the children, oh, Jesus even teach the children not to put their trust and faith in their parents. Yes, they provide for them. Yes, you put them there. But God teach them to trust in you even, even when they know their parents are there. Help them to go past that and see beyond that. Saved or unsaved, God, you, you lose children in this season. You can use the children in this season, in this time. Help them go past their parents and look to the hills from which come in their help. Even you, God, can help them. Oh my goodness. God, I thank you for your protection and your covering over us, Lord, as we travel to our jobs, as we go to schools, and as we travel the highways. I thank you for that, Lord. Even on our jobs, God, giving us the wisdom, what to say and how to speak, speak to people, Lord, that we come in contact with. God, I'm asking you in the name of Jesus, you touch the hearts. Lord God, those that want to be in your sanctuary and have not been able to come. I'm asking God in the name of Jesus, you touch every heart. God, give them hope and encouragement. Send a word of encouragement. Lord God, let them have the courage, Lord, to have service in their house, Lord. Let them get up and have praise and worship, Lord, and praise you, hallelujah, because you are God. You are God everywhere. We are the church. It's not the building. Lord, your words, let's not forsake the gathering together, but God, some of us can't get to you. So God, I'm asking you, God, get the word to them. God, give them the word. Just, Lord God, let them read your word, Lord God. Encourage them through what they read. Encourage them, Lord God, by a call. Encourage them, God, Lord God, by just a hug. Send your love, Lord, to them. Encourage them, Lord God. Let them know they're not forsaken, forsaken and forgotten. <laughs> Touch them right now. In the name of Jesus, touch your people wherever they are. In this land, Lord God, the brokenhearted, those that are suffering a loss right now. I'm asking God that you touch, Lord God, those that are mourning a loss of a loved one, a friend, a relative, an associate. God, bless that family, Lord. Give them peace in their mind and in their heart, Lord. God, give them peace, Lord God, in the whole situation, no matter, even after the funeral, even after the going home. God, I'm asking that you give them peace when they have to go back home and possibly look at their room, Jesus, and they're no longer there. Help them remember the good days, Lord. And God, give them encouragement, Lord. Give them peace and love. In the midst, Lord God, fill that air, that void, though, God, that was created because they may have lost a child or they may have lost a loved one that's dear, a husband or, or a wife, a mother or a father. God, let them remember. Let them remember the good days and just give you praise. Let them just say thank you in the midst of the loss, Lord. In the name of Jesus, in this season, Lord, God, give us what to say and how to say. God, guide our footsteps like never before. 
in the name of Jesus. God, I'm asking you to release your word on tomorrow. I'm asking God, some people are having services right now. I'm asking God in the name of Jesus that you release your word to your people in those holy sanctuaries on the altars, that you release your word, a good word, an encouraging word, a lifting up, uplifting word, and an and instructional word that would help us, Lord God, to stir our lives towards you, that would change our heart and our mindsets. God, we need a word that will change the very way we perceive things. Change our perception, Lord. Your word is a two-edged sword. There's nothing like your word. It's different, Lord. So I'm asking God that you give your, us a heart to accept that word. Because the word that is coming to us right now is so pure, God. Sometimes it's just hard to accept it. God, even your disciples said that, Lord, that is a hard thing. They murmured up with their breath, and you perceived, Lord God, that, Lord God, it was hard for them to receive it. But yet, Lord, you told them that you chose them. You chose them, and you picked them out, God, to receive and get the understanding and the revelation. So, God, I'm asking you, in the name of Jesus, give us a heart to accept Give us a heart of flesh to receive. Let us not go around moping and having a pity party because the word cut us, because the word exposed us. But God, give us the courage to say, okay, Lord, it's time to change. Okay, Lord, we will turn. We will turn from that way and, and walk your way, the path that you have laid out. God, give us the courage to make that word life real. And if the word is already real, God, give us even more of a revelation, a deeper understanding that we may apply it. Lord, let it not just fall by the wayside. But God, I'm asking in the name of Jesus to implant those seeds and water them seeds. And the seeds that have been watered, water more. And God, we're asking that you uproot those things that were planted years and years ago that was not of you. God, there is much, Lord God, there was much done. Lord God, help us to interpret these things, recognize these things, and cast them to the side. Throw them away, toss them away, never to bring them up again, never to remember them again. God, help us to intercede for one another, pray for one another, stand in the gap for our brothers and sisters. God, we pray, Lord God, for our brothers and sisters. We pray for them, Lord God, that have walked away. We pray for them that have a calling on their life, God, and have not accepted it. We pray for those that are simply backslidden, God, were deceived and manipulated or bewitched even by their own mind. And we're asking God that you revive them, restore them, resurrect them, speak life to their spirit, God that they no longer be in that dead place, that they no longer walk in that dead place. Maybe they stumbled, Lord. Some of us do stumble and we fall. But your word says that you, God, tell us to get up. No matter how many times that we have fallen, to just get up. Just get up. God, we're going to shake it off. Shake off that stuff shake it off and we're going to get up and just trust and believe god that you have us right where you want us and that you will complete that work you will complete that work that you've begun as god we believe even if this the faith is little we still believe we have hope god that you will complete the work that you've begun in us and that we will go out and tell the good news it is that you live and that you save us and that you deliver us and that you make us free by your word and that we can overcome god we thank you we thank you for that right now in the name of jesus we thank you lord we thank you, Lord, for the restoration and the reconciliation. God, we thank you that you're preparing our hearts for what is to come. 
God, we thank you that we're not looking back behind us, but we're pressing toward the mark for the prize of the high calling in Christ Jesus. Thank you, God, that you are our reward, not the gifts, not the gifts, but you are our reward. We thank you, Lord, for everything that you've done. God, we're asking that your spirit be on every altar, every old holy altar, that your spirit be on the altars, Lord, so that as your people come in, they will be healed and delivered, that they can have a breakthrough, a breakthrough. Lord God, let they never be the same. They will never be the same as they come into your sanctuary, that your spirit rests upon the altar. And that we will never be the same. Even those that have been in your house. Even those that come in each and every day. Lord, help us to come in with an expectation that we will leave out differently than when we come in. That a new thing will happen within our hearts. A new thing, God. A new mindset. A new way of thinking. A new way of looking. A new perception. That we will never be the same. God, let us have that encounter. Those that know you, those that don't, we need an encounter with you daily. Not here and there, but daily, Lord. Give us the courage to seek you daily. In the name of Jesus. God, we thank you, Lord God, in every prayer. You hear every prayer. We know you hear. We know that you even hear the sinner's prayer. We're asking, God, that you consider those prayers. But we want your will be done because we know your will is what's best. You know what's best for us. And we know that you have a plan for each and every one of us. Even our children. Even those that are to come behind us. So, God, we're asking, God, that even in the prayers, even in the tears, even in the screams and hollers, even in the stress, God, that your will be done. The plans that you have predestined us to be a part of, that your will be done. In the name of Jesus, now God, as we go forward into this new week, as we enter into a new week, God, we ask that you give us wisdom to handle this new week. God, guide our footsteps. Help us to do what you want us to do. Help us to think like you want us to think. Help us to walk in your way. God, protect us and keep us from all our harm and danger, seen and unseen. Lord God, every individual, every person that we come in contact with, God. Lord God, help us not judge. Help us, God, to just rest in you. Help us, God, protect our cars, our children as they go to the schoolhouse. Lord God, we plead the blood of Jesus over them now. Lord God, protect them from all her harm and danger, seen and unseen. Protect them from, Lord God, the people, the mean men, the pedophile, God. The, just protect our children, Lord. Even from the bully, the teaser. God, protect the children. Cover their hearts. God, teach the children how to cover their own hearts. And remember they have self-worth their self-worth. God, help us all remember our worth in you. Help us to remember who we are in you. In this day and in this season, help us to remember who we are. Touch the pastor, God. Touch our pastor. Touch her from the crown of her head to the soles of her. Touch her body. Strengthen her body. Touch her mind. Give her words to say and how to say, Lord. Lord God, give her, touch her family, protect and watch over them today, God. In the name of Jesus. Jesus, help your people today. Help your people today. Not tomorrow, God. We're not talking about tomorrow. Help your people today. In the name of Jesus. God, I'm messing that you touch our minds. Touch our minds. Touch our minds. God, and we thank you for everything that you've done. We thank you for everything that you're going. We thank you for working behind the scenes. There, there's things, Lord God, that you're doing behind the scenes that we don't even know about. And we thank you for that right now, God. 
And we bless you today, God. And we honor you, God. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, amen, amen. God bless you. Have a wonderful day. And if you're, new, if you're in the Mobile, Alabama area, we look forward to seeing you tomorrow at 2912 Dolphin Island Parkway, Suite H. God bless you. We love you. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.